Hi everybody, this is Linksy, and today I'm going to be talking about Linksy's ModMaker 0.151. This is the latest version of ModMaker, and it's for Minecraft 1.7.2. Now I need, do need to say that uh, it is not fully compatible with Minecraft 1.7.10, and I probably won't put out another update until Minecraft 1.8. Uh, so there, there likely won't be a version that's compatible fully with 1.7.10. Some features may work, but um, overall it's not tested. Uh, so just before I begin, I'm going to go over installing. We're also going to go over some GUI changes. Um, if you have find any bugs or if anything doesn't work, feel free to message me on the forums. I'd love to help you out and fix the program if it's broken. Uh, so to install ModMaker, all you're going to do is you're going to go search Linksys Mod Maker on Google. It'll come up with a Minecraft forum topic. And here you have the latest version up here and then all previous versions down here. So you're just going to click this button. It's going to take you through AdFly and it will download a zip folder. And what you're going to want to do is just extract that zip folder and all of these files should be inside it. Now you don't you want to make sure you don't move any of these files. These all need to stay in the same location. You can act, you can create a shortcut to the exe or the jar file, um, and that'll work fine. But just make sure you don't move the jar file or the exe file because then the program won't work correctly. So that's simple. That's how you install it. And here I have the program running. Now in this version we have some GUI changes, and we also have some a couple of new features. Although the main focus was the GUI changes. So if you click on a new feature, each feature now has a standard GUI, and that made it incredibly simple for me um, to add new features, or the GUI for new features at least. So we have a channel box type format. Uh, every type of value can be associated with a channel box. Um, so if I were to create a block called red, well, redstone already exists. That's stupid. Say bluestone. I create the block, choose a texture. This will open up the texture uh, section box. Um, we also have combo boxes and stuff like that. Now, one of the new types of channels is the biome selection box. And, oops, not on that. So, in, in features that require biome selection, you're going to go into the biomes channel, click select. And it, one of the new features is you can select multiple biomes. You're just going to click the X, and they're still selected. And so, for instance, if we were generating this schematic, these four biomes would, um, or um, structure, I'm sorry, not a schematic, the, it would generate in these four biomes. So that's, that's the new biome selection window. So some new features in this pro, uh, update. We have gravity on blocks. So you can just change the gravity channel to true and the blocks will be affected by gravity such as sand or gravel. We also have effective tools on blocks. So currently it's just pickaxe, shovel, and axe. Um, so if you want the uh, block to be effectively mined by a pickaxe, pick, or, sorry, pickaxe, and then we have the effective tool level which um, is just vanilla tool levels. So it's going to be this would be wood, uh, stone, iron, diamond. Um, in the structures, we actually have a new system for generating structures. It still uses a MC Edit schematic that you can choose here, but uh, previously using modded blocks in MC Edit schematics was difficult, and now it's even more difficult since. Um, uh, Minecraft doesn't use IDs for blocks anymore, not really at least. So the way we do it in Mod Maker now is you're going to add a um, you can you can replace a block in your schematic with a block from Mod Maker. So the way you're going to do that, you're going to find so you're going to find a block that you're not using in the schematic at all, and if you can find the ID for that block which should be the same as the um, IDs that blocks were before they switched. So I believe like if you wanted to use wood or something, you could, I think that's five or something. You need to look it up online, but you can 
do 5, and then you can replace it with a modded block or any of these blocks if you want to. And any of that uh, ID block appearing in the schematic will be replaced by whichever block you choose. So that's how the schematic replacements are working. Uh, again, we have a biome selection for this as well. For blocks and, or, um, for, yes, for blocks, I'm sorry. For blocks, there's now options to generate in the nether and the end. So you can generate in all three dimensions if you'd like to. So that's a new feature. Uh, for item armor and item uh, tools, we have a repair material. So the tools and the armor are now able to be repaired. Uh, these can be modded blocks or they can be vanilla, or uh, modded blocks or items. They can also be vanilla blocks or items. Um, so that's it on the new recipes. I do have to give a warning. Biomes may or may not work uh, with certain versions of Forge. I know they work it with at least one version of Forge, but I'm not sure which. So um, if the biomes aren't working correctly, I know that that happens. Um, so that's just a problem on my end. So now I am going to show how to install a mod using ModMaker. I'm just going to open up a test mod I have. So here we go. We have the mod loaded. And the first step you're going to do is just going to generate. And you're going to want to generate to a completely clean folder. This might take a second or two, depending on the size of your mod. Okay, so this, it is finished now. It should come up with a message that says finished. And if no uh, dialogue comes up that says um, mod failed to generate, something like that, you should be good to go. So now it leaves us with this folder that we generated to. And inside is mud mod or whatever your mod is, dot jar. And we are, all you have to really do, still open. Um, is install forge and transfer this transfer this file into your mods folder. So the first step in that is to install forge. This is super simple. You're just going to go to files.minecraftforge.net and I'll try to fit this in here. And under promotions, you're going to look for 1.7.2 recommended. Now, as I said, biomes only work with a certain um, they will only work correctly. They'll generate, but uh, sometimes the uh, filler and top blocks get messed up. So um, biomes I'm not certain about, but you're going to want to use the recommended build. Uh, you're just going to uh, download installer win, and that's going to download an exe file, and you're going to run that and um, just go through the steps. It should be pretty simple. If you need more help on installing Forge, I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials out there. Um, so this is still open. Um, so once Forge is installed, you'll have a profile in your Minecraft launcher called Forge. Let me just open up here. Um, so now we're gonna uh, just drop our jar file into oops into our Minecraft.jar mods folder. Okay, here's our jar file. So I'm just going to find my .minecraft folder. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you should probably learn how to do that. You're going to go to the address bar and users c colon slash users, your username, could be anything. You're going to type percent sign app data percent sign. And that'll send you to the roaming folder. Inside there, you should find .minecraft. And inside .minecraft, you should find mods. I have a mod in here. Uh, so all you're going to have to do is drag this jar file right into the mods folder. And it should be installed. So I'm going to boot up Minecraft real quick. And once you have Forge installed, 
you should have a profile called Forge. You want to use that profile. You can see we're using 1.7.2. This is actually an old um, version of Forge. That's okay because I didn't install this one. So now it's going to boot up Minecraft. Now, if you get any errors, if it crashes, uh, I, I, as always, I want you to send me that crash report so I can help fix it because this program is not perfect. So here we have the game open and we have our mod right here and I'll just load up a world so we can see it in action and we should have we have the mud, the mud grass. This is just parts of my mod. Um, so yeah, that's that's Mod Maker the update. I hope that helped you. It's really easy to install uh, once you know. Oops, moving around in random directions. Okay, uh, it's really easy to install once you know how. And um, so I hope you have fun. Thanks for watching.